Well, here's what else is new to stream. I want to mention this because we took we did take a pause last week, but it's on Amazon right now. Stream it immediately. It's called The Vast of Night. It starts okay. out like a little bit of a Twilight Zone episode, but then it turns into its own thing. It's like this cool little indie sci-fi movie. Highly recommend, stream immediately. Um, okay. Also on June 12th, we have Artemis Fowl. This movie has had quite a journey. It was supposed to come out in August 2019 in theaters. It's finally being released on Disney+. Plus. Do you ever think about putting on the jacket? Why would you even ask me that? What's wrong with being a fireman? It's fine if you don't have kids, because you don't know if you're going to come home or not. Also on June 12th on Netflix, we have The King of Staten Island. This one's starring Pete Davidson, directed by Judd Apatow. Um, stream it. It's great. It is a really good dramedy. Definitely more of a, a dark comedy kind of drama than it is like a train wreck. Um, but okay. Kind of in realm. My only thing is this movie is two hours and 17 minutes long, which is a little on the lengthy side uh, for me, but it's also only 10 minutes longer than train wreck. So I would definitely say stream it. Pete Davidson is essentially playing himself, except he's named Scott in the movie. And uh, we actually talked to him about how healing this movie was for him. So here's what he had to say. I think having to, you know, deal with that sort of thing at such a great scale really helped me heal. Uh, you know, it really made me think that I could put this behind me now because, you know, we like went through it all together. So I, I really feel a lot better. And I, I hope some other people can also relate to that. And yeah, I know, I know fans, fans of Pete know this, that his dad passed away in 9-11. And this, this movie was really kind of about the healing that comes after the passing of, of his father. So highly recommend, stream it. Awesome, Ash. Well, over on the TV side of things, we've got kind of a mixed bag this week. Now, first off, I want to talk about Quran. It's streaming now. It dropped on June 10th on Netflix. Now, this is a show that if you really just want to put your phone down for about half an hour and really focus on something, this is the show to do it because guess what? It's told completely in Italian. So unless you already know Italian, you're going to be reading subtitles. Uh, basically, the premise is that uh, a mom and her two teens return to her uh, hometown in northern Italy and discover that it's actually cursed. And every time you hear some bells ring, uh, let's just say repressed emotions come up to the surface. So definitely uh, an interesting one to watch. I was really captivated by it and it was really nice to just kind of completely focus on something. So I say stream it. Um, in terms of another kind of like dark, horror vibe. We have Into the Dark, Good Boy, which is coming out on June 12th on Hulu. Now, this is the next film from the Blumhouse horror anthology movie series that they've been doing with Hulu. And Good Boy is uh, starring Judy Greer, who plays Judy Greer. Um, and she adopts an emotional support dog. Uh, but the twist is that he actually kills anyone who ends up giving her stress and anxiety. It wasn't my personal cup of tea, so I would say skip it. But you know what? If you need something lighthearted, go for it. Uh, lighthearted murder dog. Yeah, lighthearted murder dog. It was, I don't know. It's kind of like dead to me, but with animals. Okay. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'll check it out. I don't know. Now, something that I was pleasantly surprised by was Love Life. Now, as of June 11th, you can stream all of season one on HBO Max. Now, this is, of course, their brand new original series starring Anna Kendrick, and it's all about uh, telling a story from someone's first love to their last love. Now, this is another anthology series, so this first season is about Anna Kendrick's character. Next season will be about someone totally new. Uh -huh. um, I'm gonna be really honest, I did not have high hopes when I was going into this. I put it on in the background. I was pleasantly surprised. It's a very easy binge. There's a lot of relatable things that you can um, find in her relationships that you're like, wow, just went through that last week. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with him and it's so pathetic. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'd say cue it, give it a chance, see what you think. I feel like this was like HBO Max is like one thing. This is like it their was. Program, right? Like this is this is this and the Looney Tunes cartoons do yeah. re debut. <laughs> so you know what? There you go. Um, but something that I definitely can recommend is the fact that the bold type is returning to freeform on June 11th. Now this is the season four mid-season premiere. Um, and so, yeah, so Freeform likes to break things up into parts, uh, but Jane, Kat, and Sutton are back. Now, if for some reason you haven't already watched The Bold Type, do it now. Do it.
Do it now. Dream it. You can stream all four seasons so far on uh, Hulu. And honestly, Ash, I've got to say, one of my favorite things about this show is that it's a story about friendship. It's lighthearted, but it still tackles so many poignant issues that need to be talked about today. That's what's going on in, in terms of the TV news this week. It's kind of a mixed bag, but you know what? There's something for everyone.